Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the technique that I, let's say, created, but anyone could have done the same, uh, named the Dirty Event Users Flow. So um, this idea came um, through a training that I, that I gave. Um, so currently, by default within Matomo, when you want to analyze the user's flow of uh, the visitor, you just have the possibility to get it by a page URL or by um, title. You don't have the possibility to do it uh, by events, and that was one of the attendees of one of my training was asking for. So like having over here, event number one, event number two, event number three, and to have a set of events, that's uh, typically the case when uh, you have an information system on which uh, it's not URL based. Okay, uh, so you can imagine typically uh, maybe not a mobile app, but could be if you are sending, let's say, like the screen, not in the URL, but in the event instead, uh, could be as well for a software or a single page app uh, if you don't want to, to use a, a URL system. Um, so I call it the dirty event users flow because um, uh, we are going to tweak Matomo in order to send URL as events in order to, to tweak the, the system. Um, by the way, I sent a message to the Matomo team asking for would it be possible to have the users flow on an event base, then it's in their roadmap, but it's not uh, sent yet. So. Uh, as you will see, uh, the trick is the, the following one. So here you have your website on which you are adding your uh, Matomo Tag Manager container. And in fact, what you can technically do, uh, so this is the regular page view uh, tracking, is that you can add, in fact, additional uh, tags for the events, let's say, that you would like to track. It's just, it's not going to be events, it's going to be URL or title uh, tag based. So uh, here, as you can see, I added, in fact, um, additional um, additional tags. And um, uh, this is how they look like. So typically, I have named my tag dirty event user flow scroll tracking. What it does is that it's a page view tracking, but it's sending, in fact, as the title and as the URL, the value that I would have sent if it was event category or event action or event name. As you can see, I give the name of the interaction plus a variable that I just uh, picked up. And uh, what I want to achieve here is that I don't want to mess up my um, current Matomo uh, configuration because I want to send this dirty event users flow in another uh, property or let's say website ID of Matomo in order to not uh, double count all my page view. So I will have, in fact, to create another Matomo, another website ID, in order to send specifically uh, this tag, so as the other tag that I will uh, that I will create, such as in my case, for example, the click tracking. So click tracking here is still a dirty event users flow. So this is this is how it looks like, and uh, and that's it. So in fact, at the end of the day, uh, what you're gonna have is that you have within your regular website the page view tracking. Okay, nothing nothing crazy here, but I'm getting my my regular tracking. Okay, and then as I created another Matomo that I named the dirty event users flow. In this one, I'm just in fact collecting uh, the different data that I wanted, the click, the scroll, and blah, blah, blah. And then as a result, when within the behavior, um, I'm getting, in fact, my user's flow, which is just somehow event-based uh, only. And that's it. So as you can see over here, I can play either with the URL or with the with the title. And that's uh, that's why I call it the dirty event user's flow, right? It's like not like the perfect method. Uh, of course, it's sending more data. It's adding an extra layer of, uh, of, of code, let's say, on your website. But at least uh, in the time being, without uh, the user flow enhanced yet, uh, you can have it anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching.